My name is Luda Kasuga. This is my husband, Alex. Um, we have Esther, and then we have our three other kids here, Anthony, Leah, and Luke. And where did you come here from? Tacoma, Washington. Awesome. Give them a round of applause. So, Luda, we understand that you came here to the Hungry Generation Raised to Deliver conference back in April, and God did some wonderful things in your life. So can you just tell us what originally brought you to come all the way from Tacoma to Tri-Cities, Washington for this conference? Um, we originally came because um, my husband wanted to see kind of what the conference was about, and I wanted to come to receive healing. So what was, uh, what was the problem that you were facing and, and the, the sickness or the pain that you were having? Um, in pregnancy, especially towards the end of pregnancy, I get what's called restless leg syndrome, where it feels like um, it's just ants and uh, torture just kind of going on in your body, and you can't relax. You can't fall asleep. And so when you came here, were you having trouble sleeping, or, or what was the exact experience that you were having? Yeah, uh, prior to this, I started not sleeping for weeks and weeks and started from that having um, anxiety attacks and panic attacks that just came on from nowhere. So when you came in April to the Race to Deliver conference with Apostle John Chi, what happened to you during that time? Well, the night before actually is when I had the worst experience of the restless leg syndrome. I woke up my husband, um, I think even a couple times that night, and I said, we just got to pray. I cannot sleep, and I have this horrible anxiety. Even that morning, he was like, are you sure you want to go to the service? Maybe we need to take you to the ER because we have four hours to drive and you're pregnant. We have other kids at home. And I just felt something in my spirit that said, you need to be at that service. So when you came and you were partaking in the service, what happened to you? Uh, when I went up there, all I could say, um, even before he got to me, I just started praying, Jesus set me free. These are the only words that came out of my mouth. But... Um, so when Apostle John Chi came up to me, he put his hands on my belly and started praying for my baby. I wasn't even concerned about my baby. I was more concerned about my healing. But then um, all of a sudden, I did fall back, and I just felt this release. Of, and I knew that I instantly got healing. Um, but also, right at that moment, he goes, you are having a baby girl. And I didn't know him, he didn't know me. And I said, yes, in fact, I am having a baby girl. And he goes, the Lord wants you to name her Esther. Amen, let's put our hands together for Jesus. So as you can see, we have a little baby girl with us here today. So obviously, can you tell us what is her name? Esther Kasuga. <laughs> Amen. So, before we continue, I just want to say, maybe some of you are thinking, why is that important? But Luda, I want you to share with us, why was that important to you to receive the name of your baby girl? Yeah. Um, I never knew the meaning of a name until I had my third child and I was doing a Bible study and I realized the power of our names and the importance that uh, we should apply to our names. And when we named our children really quickly, we didn't have a problem naming our kiddos, but with her, we just could not think of a name. And even driving here, we're like, we have four hours to get here and four hours back. We could think of a name. And that wasn't even a prayer for us. It was just something that we said. But God knew the desires of our hearts, and he knew not only that I need healing, but he knew deep inside what we hadn't even prayed for. And so Esther, I mean, the Esther, he said, of the old is the Esther that is coming. Amen. Let's put our hands together one more time for Jesus. So, Luda, now that you have your baby and she has her name and we know that God Almighty has set a wonderful plan for her, we also want to know concerning what happened to you with your body. You mentioned that you were having pain and restless leg syndrome and anxiety. After that day that you received that prophecy and you received that touch from the man of God, what happened? Instantly that day where I felt like I needed to be going to the ER um, that day, I, I just didn't have any of that. I didn't have anxiety. I just felt such joy like I was flying. Um, it was just amazing. Even Alex was like, you just seem so much different. But I do want to say that night when I came back, I felt like an attack again. And I know we got prayer calls that day. And so I just I took it as with faith, and I opened Scripture and just started proclaiming God's promises over my life, over my healing and it never came back. I slept great, I didn't have anxiety. So. Amen, amen, what a wonderful God we serve, hallelujah. 
Amen. So we're so happy for you for this wonderful healing that you received, the prophecy that you received concerning your baby and also for her future. So we know that God is going to use her to do great and mighty things. Praise the Lord. So I just want to ask you one more thing. Now that you're here and you've received that healing, you received a prophecy that has changed your life. Uh, what can you advise other people who are here? Maybe they have some pain in their body or maybe they're just confused about the future. What can you tell them? I think God uses every circumstance in our life for a greater purpose. Sometimes it seems like that illness or that uh, struggle that you're facing, it's like, Lord, why? But he wants to use that to glorify him. And he not only knows that, but he knows the desires of our hearts. And he hears everything, even if it's unspoken. So he cares about the little things and the big things in our life. So I encourage you to bring up everything to the Lord. Nothing is hidden from him, and he will use it for his glory. Amen. Let's put our hands together one more time for Jesus. Thank you so much, Luda and Alex, for your wonderful testimony.